हाई व्यूअर दिस इज मी प्रोफेसर मुमताज अली डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ इंग्लिश गवर्नमेंट पोस्ट ग्रेजुएट कॉलेज चकवाल एंड इन दिस लेक्चर टूडे आई एम गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट लिटरेरी थीरी दिस लिटरेरी थीरी इज ऑल्सो कॉल्ड एज कल्चरल थीरी इट्स ऑल्सो कॉल्ड जस्ट थीरी एंड एट द सेम टाइम इट इज ऑल्सो कॉल्ड क्रिटिकल थीरी सो वट इज लिटरेरी थीरी इट इज यूजली डिफाइंड एज द अवेल्यूएशन ऑफ इट टेक्सट इट इज रीमेकिंग ऑफ द मीनिंग ऑफ इट टेक्सट Now the next most important thing is that what is a text because the definition of a text will tell us that what is literary theory or what is theory or what is critical theory so whereas this concept of text is concerned it means that everything in this universe is a text so in the world of literature a drama novel a short story uh, or any poem all these things are called text and if we increase the canvas of this vertex then we will come to know that all the religions whether they are heavenly or whether they are man made they are texts all the political systems are texts all the social systems are texts all the moral systems are texts all the ethical systems are texts and even it mean that all ideologies which are existing in this universe they are also called as texts so all the cultures are texts all the civilizations are texts and when civilizations are text it mean that this whole universe is a text when this universe is a text it mean that this life is a text so what is the purpose of theory the purpose of theory is to understand this text and a broader at a broader level it mean to understand the meanings of life to know the purpose of life why we are here what is the purpose of our being here from where we are to go how we are going to manage all these things how we are going to look over our own feelings how we are going to even behave with those people who are against us or how we are to live in this life how are we are going to educate ourselves how are going to uh, we are going to educate the people who are concerned with us how parents must be uh, must behave how these political systems must be dealt with how these social system ideological system religious systems how they must be dealt with how we must understand them so all this process is a part of literary theory it mean that the remaking of the meanings of a text is called literary theory now where this word uh, theory is concerned it means that this the origin of this word is greek word theoria theoria mean that sitting positions of uh, the audience in a theater it mean that if, uh, suppose there is uh, this universe there is this life there is god there is each and everything there is uh, there are different ideologies so at uh, these are texts so there are countless people living in this universe so all the people they think differently they behave differently they their attitude is different their way of thinking is different it means that when their way of thinking is different when their way of behaving is different so it means that they are going to understand one text in a very different way from the other person or from other persons so theory means that how different people countless people of this universe look at a text and then try to understand that text in order to give meanings to their life so this is the origin of this word which is called uh, theory and then uh, the most important discussion also with reference to this uh, literary theory is that Uh, there are three things which are very important very first thing is that there is the writer then there is a text then there is a reader now the next question is that with reference to theory is that what are the meanings of this text who is the source of meaning of this text what is the source of this meaning text if we move toward the discussion of the this text we will come to know the very first thing the most of the people say that writer is the source of meaning it means that whatever the writer is saying about the the text that uh, that meanings are valid meaning so this is a first way of looking at a piece of uh, literature then it means that this is a writer based theory then uh, we move toward the text some people say some critics say that no writer is not the source of meaning text itself is the source of meaning when they say that text itself is the source of meaning it means that they say that the words on page uh, are the sources of meaning words form how different words are uh, selected how different phrases different clauses different sentences sentences how they are joined together uh, to make uh, different uh, pieces of literature and 
these things, these forms tell us that where are the meanings of a piece of literature. So, it means that if, if we say that form is the source of meaning, so then we will have to know that these two things are very much important. Very, the very first is neocriticism and the next one is Russian formalism. Now, still there are other people, other critics who say no, the structure is the source of meaning, writer is not the source of meaning and neither the reader is the source of meaning, this uh, the th source of meaning is structure. Structure means social, political, moral, ethical, religious, each and every type of society, its ideology, structure of the ideology that molds the personality of a writer and then when he writes something it means that actually he is writing the, the that ideology of that society, the structure of that society is going to present, so that is called the structuralism and here they say that structure is the source of meaning. Then uh, if we move towards uh, reader response theory, reader response theory means that neither the writer is the source of meaning nor the text is the source of meaning, reader is the source of meaning. If we move towards the reader of this is, as a source of meaning, it means that reader is going to understand the meaning of a text by keeping in mind his own views, his own emotions, his own feelings, his own ideologies, his own personal background, his social, political, moral, ethical background and he will involve his own personality fully in understanding of the text. It means some critics say that text here loses its meaning because it is totally reader based. And if writer is the source of meaning, so we will have to keep in mind writer's emotions, feelings, what he himself says, what are his ideas, what were the age from which he belonged or what were his diaries or what he himself said about any piece of literature. So, they are uh, rejected by certain others and they say that new criticism is the source of meaning, then Russian formalism, then structuralism and then still they say that deconstruction, we are going to deconstruct something mean that there are multiple voices, there are multiple meanings, right, reader is the source of meaning here, but there are so many meanings as there are the readers. Then. Uh, if we uh, move towards uh, ecology, it means that ecology means that everything that is existing in this universe, whether it's man-made or it's natural or it's God-made, they say that this ecology, this uh, system which is a part of nature, it molds the personality of a person and then he or she behaves in that special manner and it gives meanings to that piece of literature. Now, these all these things if we move uh, from uh, ahead from these uh, this this panoptical toward that is for example, if we talk about psychoanalytical literary theory, it means that there is conscious, there is subconscious, there is unconscious, there is id, ego and super ego. It means that these are the things, these are part of uh, the mind of a thing which help in making and molding the personality of a specific character, that's why he behaves in a specific manner in a specific situation. So this is also an other way of understanding this text. So, what are these? If somebody asks us that what are these things? So, this uh, neocriticism, then Russian formalism, structuralism, deconstructionism, ecocriticism and psychoanalytic, it means that all these things are different type of panopticals. When we use the panoptical of neocriticism or new Russian formalism, it means that words or page are source of meaning. When we use the panoptical of writer, uh, based theory, it means the writer is the source of meaning. When we use the panoptical of reader, it means that reader is the source of meaning and uh, by using the panoptical of structuralism, we move towards structure and by using the panoptical of deconstruction, there are multiple meanings. Then uh, the panoptical of ecocriticism tells us that this society, this ecology is the source of meaning. Then psychoanalytics still it is another panoptical. Then uh, when panoptical changes, it means that uh, we are going to move towards the feministic elements. It means that feminism. Now, this is a panoptical which we are reading and we are going to understand a piece of literature. And if we wear the panoptical of post-colonialism, we will have to take the meanings like this. Then there is a queer, th queer theory, it means that it's about gays and lesbians and all those people. And then archetypal means that there are different type of archetypes. If you want to understand anything, you will have to keep in mind different archetypes which are which are already existing in the world of literature. So this is all about text, it means that text is just, there is just one text, there is just one universe and there is just one life. These are 
all these are panopticals. You are going to observe this text and by using these panopticals, when panoptical changes, it means that the way of thinking or understanding a text also changes. So, this panoptical also tells us that we are also going to understand the social conditions of a piece of literature, political conditions of a piece of literature, and then uh, nature in a piece of literature, then ecology in a piece of literature, then feministic things in a piece of literature, then structure in a piece of literature, then archetypes used in a piece of literature. Actually, the purpose of all this is to understand this life, to understand the meanings of life, to understand the purpose of life. And this purpose of life is, all, is also called a thing which is directly related to text. It means that we are not only to understand a piece of literature, a drama novel, a short story. We are to understand this whole universe. And uh, this is all about uh, writer text and reader. Now, the next most important thing is that literary theory means that it remakes meanings. Meanings are already there. Who, whatever is the source of meaning, writer is the source of meaning, text is the source of meaning, or any other thing is the source of meaning. Meanings are there. But the theory is going to remake meaning. It means that panopticals are going to be changed, so meanings are going to be changed. Then uh, this theory is dialogic. Dialogic means that in this theory, there is a dialogue between the text and the reader. And in this dialogue, usually, or most of, in most of the cases, writer is also involved because writer is the person who produces a text and then reader is the person who is going to interpret that piece of literature. And then uh, this reader response, th this uh, uh, literary theory tell also tells us that no absolute authority, there is no absolute authority. It means that anybody can be the source of meaning because if we say that writer is the source of meaning, then meanings are static. When meanings are static, it means that there is an absolute authority, but literary theory says that there are no absolute meanings. Meanings are, there are multiple meanings, multi meanings are multidimensional, there are different layers of meanings. Then it is uh, scientific, it talks about language, it focuses upon character, how characters are maintained from beginning to end, how their behavior, their attitude, their way of living, their way of thinking, each and everything. So that's why it's called scientific. Then it is uh, interdisciplinary means that it is going to uh, have a certain type of relation between different disciplines which are existing at uh, present in the world of literature and other words. And then it is uh, insurrectionary in nature, it means that it is rebellious in nature, it is going to rebel against the specification of the system. Specification means that whenever there is only one person is saying something and that is authority, then that person is authority, it means that meanings are going to be uh, static and when meanings are static, it, uh, it, that gives uh, just one shape, uh, there is no plurality of meaning it, and there can be a misunderstanding of understanding those meanings, so it is insurrectionary in nature. Now, uh, the last and the most important thing is the what is this literary theory, this theory, this cultural theory or uh, this uh, critical theory, what does it tell us? It tells us about uh, our position in this universe, about our world where we are living, it means that we must, it tells us that we must understand this uh, society in which we are living, the society, the people who are around us, the people who are against us, and this theory will tell us that people are never against us, the, their way of thinking is totally different from us. We are not going to understand ourselves, rather we are also going to understand the people who are different from us. Then, then how to influence and mean that how to influence this environment, how to influence people who are different from us. And then if they, this theory, it also uh, teaches us intellectual intelligence, means it tells us the ways of life, it tells us what is life, it tells us how to live life, it tells us how to behave, it tells us how to deal with our emotions, feeling, thinking, patterns, it tells us how to understand our uh, social, political, moral, ethical and all type of systems. So that's why this literary theory is a thing which is, uh, which is, which teaches us intellectual intelligence. Then it, at the same time, this theory will also teach us emotional intelligence, means how we are going to understand our own emotions 
and how we are going to understand the emotions of the other people because other people are not like us they can be from different culture they can be from different background they can be from different religion they can be from different social political moral ideologies when they are different it means that we are to understand not only our own emotions we are have to understand the emotions of those people then uh, another thing which this literary theory teaches uh, that is uh, called uh, cultural intelligence cultural intelligence means that now this universe the time in which we are living here there is not only the one culture that is dominating there are countless cultures existing in this world and each and every culture has its own values norms um, drawbacks and then their characteristics so uh, cultural intelligence mean that we will have to understand not only our own culture but also the cultures of the people who are living in the in, in this universe and in this way we will be in the position to make a society which is a very beautiful society and uh, then other uh, there are other uh, critics who say that with the when literary theory came into existence then poetics mean literature of language poetic of language Uh, went into the background and politics of language came into the force and politics of the language mean that language was giving prefer- preference that how it is going to give meanings now whereas this literary theory is concerned it is most of the cases it is applied uh, to understand a drama a novel a short story a poetry piece of poetry or anything like that but most of the writers Uh, who are discussed with reference to theory and literary theory they were uh, they were philosophers they were uh, psychologists and they were uh, linguists so their ideas their ideologies whatever they say that is used in order to understand a piece of literature in uh, in, in in a sense that when we are going to analyze at any uh, level of education and we are going to we are going to broaden this perspective perspective it means that we are going to understand text we are going to understand life this universe itself so the most important thing with reference to literary theory is that it teaches us how to understand not only a text of a piece of literature but this life especially